it's uh, you know it's not a it's not a bad run. It's uh, it's almost they've just fallen off a cliff type of thing. I mean the performances have gone from brilliant in the blink of an eye. So you know it doesn't look like they're going to score goals. Um, and you can reel off all the teams that have come to Anfield in recent times. You know, Liverpool have not deserved to, to, uh, to beat them. They're not creating too many chances. And you have to say that Everton deserved their victory. Yeah, and just to put that into context, we talked about Anfield being such a fortress with that long 68-match unbeaten run. Liverpool have now lost four consecutive league games in a row at home for only the second time in their entire history. So, we are three down on this Saturday. We still have a huge game at the bottom to come at Craven Cottage between Fulham and Sheffield United. All began, of course, on Friday with that win for Wolves. Uh, a point for Thomas Tuchel coming from behind against Southampton to begin the day. Nil-nil. Ten men, West Bromwich Albion, uh, get a point at Burnley. Two-nil to Everton. There'll be screenshots of that all round the world. They have waited so long, Everton, to be on the day, the top team in Merseyside. And look at the fixtures tomorrow. Huge games wherever you look. It begins with Spurs at West Ham, Leicester Villa, Arsenal, Manchester City, and Manchester United against fourth from bottom Newcastle. Then on Monday, Brighton welcome Crystal Palace. And on Tuesday, Southampton go to Ellen Road. So just a reminder as well, Everton, not just because of the bragging rights, not because of the pride, they are level on points with the champions Liverpool, 40 points. And Everton have a game in hand. That's away on Aston Villa, who themselves are now two games in hand, uh, one place and four points behind them. City, of course, as I say, play Arsenal tomorrow. Manchester United play then as well. And Leicester, Chelsea in fourth with 43 points after that one point at St Mary's earlier on. Fulham up next. A must win against the bottom club, Sheffield United. If they do win, they take that advantage to just three points before Newcastle play at Old Trafford tomorrow evening.